With each new version, SOLIDWORKS makes improvements to help users design better products in less time. One aspect of this that's sometimes overlooked are some of the under-the-hood enhancements that SOLIDWORKS makes to help improve performance and compatibility when working with different kinds of files. In 2013, SOLIDWORKS has added a fast start option. To help the software launch more quickly, the 2013 version begins loading components in the background as soon as you start your machine. This is a nice feature, but it's also a feature that not all users might want enabled. So if you'd like to turn off Fast Start, just go to the Start menu in Windows, All Programs, and in the Startup folder, right-click on SOLIDWORKS Fast Start and select Delete. Many users keep multiple versions of SOLIDWORKS on their machines. If you have more than one version of SOLIDWORKS installed, when you open a SOLIDWORKS file from Windows Explorer, a dialog box appears and asks you which version you'd like to use. This is a nice feature that can help prevent issues opening files that were created in different releases of the software. If you somehow start SOLIDWORKS accidentally, you can now cancel the startup by clicking the X in the corner of the splash screen while it's loading. The splash also now displays messages telling you where it is in the startup process. Now that I've got the software open, I'd like to show you a few nice enhancements that SOLIDWORKS has made when opening files. When you're browsing for the file you'd like to open, SOLIDWORKS has added these quick filter buttons to help you access your commonly used file types more quickly. For example, you can click Filter Parts to see only SOLIDWORKS part files. You can also use these buttons in combination. For instance, you can filter both parts and assemblies to only see part and assembly files. If there are sub-assemblies in the folder, you can choose to filter top-level assemblies only as well but you should know that if there are a really large number of files in the folder, this filter may take some time, so be prepared for that. You can press Escape to cancel the filtering of top-level assemblies if it's taking too long for you. Oh, and by the way, you can now open and import CATIA v5 CAT part and CAT product files directly into SOLIDWORKS. One big improvement that SOLIDWORKS has made with this release is that they've added a degree of backwards compatibility with their files. You now have the ability to open SOLIDWORKS 2013 parts and assemblies using SOLIDWORKS 2012 Service Pack 5. Now, it's not full backwards compatibility by any means, but SOLIDWORKS will support interoperability between consecutive releases. For instance, when SOLIDWORKS 2014 is released, you won't be able to open 2014 files in 2012 SP5, but you will be able to open them in 2013 SP5 but you should note that the future version files will only open as read-only files and will have reduced functionality and feature tree data when opened in the previous version. 